Hello everybody, yes it's with the and in this video I'm going to teach you how to make realistic grass in Roblox Studio. Um, if you are new to my channel, feel free to turn on the subscribe button and turn on post notifications, it means so much to me. Um, making realistic grass, we left off with a plugin tutorial, so maybe we use a plugin to make this, but I'm going to teach you a few things on making grass realistic in Roblox. It's a very simple thing, but if you want to go a little more in touches and things like that, uh, we're going to get right into this. All right, so once you're loaded into Roblox Studio, um, you're going to make grass. Now, some of you guys may have already have grass, some of you may not. If you do want grass and you don't have it, um, you're going to just open up the terrain editor. Now, you can do many things with this. It's very simple. Um, for me, I will just, you know, make like a, I don't know, let's just go over here and do something real quick. Um, you can also change the size on, oh, I forgot how this works, actually. Um, oh yeah, this button. Uh, yeah, so you can generate a lot of things using this. Um, it's up to you personally, but you know we're gonna just make grass. So you can do water too if you want. I actually am gonna talk about another video how to make custom water. Um, but you know plains, uh, that should be good. Caves, no, you just need how mountain hills plains. That's good. And then you just click generate. Um, not gonna be too bad. And then once we do that, so it should make those. Da -da -da. Oh did, it, oh, did it get covered by the base plate? Ah, yes. Yes, it did. Okay, so as you can tell, now we have grass already. So there's definitely a few more things we want to do because I know some of you guys are like, oh, you have grass. Um, but I'm, I'm going to teach you guys some things, okay? But so we have the terrain button up here. Now, this is kind of one of the things, too, that I wanted to talk about um, in another tutorial. But the terrain button is a great way of doing certain things, okay? So we have decoration. Um, you know, if you turn that off, it's going to you know have the grass off. Now, this might already be enabled, so if it is, you should have realistic grass already. But there's a lot of things you can do. So, yeah, when we talk about certain things like you can do grass length, um, that can help with um, certain things which we'll talk about. But material colors, you know, if you want to change grass colors, feel free to do that. You know, it really depends on what, what you have in your game and what you're doing. You know, a lot of people could do, like, certain things. But, I mean, even having it a little darker is not a bad idea. Um, and there's leafy grass as well, but, um, yeah, and then we were kind of, I was kind of mentioning the watercolor stuff, which I'll talk about in another tutorial, but it's very simple. You know, if you want to change watercolor, feel free to, you know, mess around and do some stuff. But, um, yeah, so I wanted to talk about how you can like actually make it realistic by that. I mean, like actually like walking through it and it moves. So, um, we're going to get right into this. So I'm actually going to just put on one example right here, but we're going to go into the free version, but there are other plugins you can install if you want to make interactive grass. There's also other things you can do where you can actually like make the player only show, it will only show grass in a certain amount of like area zone. But um, this is a great plugin as well that I saw, uh, but this is a paid plugin. So if you do want to pay for it, you can. This will just talk about grass physics and um, you know, it's, it's kind of cool. It's a nice little plugin that he made and it has a lot of settings in here as well. Um, but you know, this is a paid version. I'll just leave that in the description, but we're going to head over to a free kind of alternative to do this. There's also one more pl uh, model that I recommend you guys actually get. It's called Windshake. Um, I'll put this in the description as well, but Windshake is a great module that you can use for making realistic games with trees and adding wind and all this cool stuff. So, you know, once you get this, you can actually just import it into Studio and it should just give you the module right here, which... Um, then you can, uh, you know, go about and make. Okay, so there actually really isn't a way to do it where you can actually just have Roblox grass move, but <laughs> I, I figured out where um, there's another there's another post about this. This is a pretty old post, so this probably isn't super optimized, um, but, you know, you can actually just go to this guy's post right here, which I'll, you know, leave in the description, um, but it kind of talks about, oh, oh, I think it wasn't this one, actually. Wait, uh, da -da -da -da. Well, either way, it's a grass engine. I'll let you just leave this in the description. But when we load into it, so this is what it kind of gave you now. Um, it has grass as like a label. And then there's also, I think, a, yeah, there's a tag to it. Um, so if you were to do this, you know, later on, you can do some stuff. But uh, like in the scripts, uh, it talks about the grass engine. Um, let's see. I think there's like types and stuff. Yeah. So, I mean, there's just like grass meshes and like assets. So you can actually make your own uh, grass like mesh. Um, and that's kind of what plays into like some people might like to have their own grass, which makes that whole realism part of it. Because, you know, if you don't want to use Roblox's grass, you can just actually make your own. Um, but yes, yeah, so when you hit play right here, it actually shows a good example of what I was talking about. So 
you know, it's like you when you move into the grass, it kind of moves it for you. Um, and so this is kind of what I mean by like, uh, you know, be making realistic grass. Now, um, another thing is, you know, you can actually add the wind shake module to it, which is actually pretty nice um, if you want to do that. Um, but yeah, I honestly, that plugin looks the best, to be honest, out of all of the things we kind of looked at. Um, this is another example. Um, and, and like I was uh, kind of talking about in the other form of things, um, yeah, there's, I don't know the best way of actually moving around this like grass itself. Um, I know there already is, as you can tell, it's already moving as that's built into the engine. Um, but you know, there's definitely, there's definitely some way of doing it, um, which I'm still kind of looking into, but yeah. I hope you did enjoy this short little tutorial. Um, there's lots of resources out there, so I'm going to be actually putting them all in the description and talking about uh, how to make realistic grass, the free, the paid, all those certain things. Um, you can go about doing this, but um, as you can tell, Roblox has its own realistic grass, but it just doesn't move when you move, and I think that's due to lag and other reasons. Um, but there's definitely ways that we can go around this. Um, but yeah, you guys, I hope you do have a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.